Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you one of the easiest way to run local large language model. The tool is called uh, Olama. Previously, it was only available on MacBook and Linux. Recently, they added the uh, support for Windows. So in this video, I'm very excited uh, to share the download and uh, trying of it with you. Let's uh, get started. So if you go to olama.com, it will show you the download button. So you should be able to click that and uh, choose the Windows. Once it's uh, downloaded, you can double click to open it. So we see the installation window. Click uh, to install. I think uh, it's quite uh, smooth. I only double click it once and uh, click once. So, so if you look at uh, your task bar, you should be able to see the Olama icon. And we can see the logs here. Let's uh, go back to the Olama website. Look at uh, the models. So you would need to download uh, at least one model to get uh, started. So I heard that recently there are some urban model published by Google, which had uh, very small parameters. So let's uh, take a look by newest. So I think this one, Gemini, is a family of lightweight state-of-art urban models by Google DeepMind. Let's press see the information. All right, we see that uh, there are two type of model. One is uh, two billion parameter. The other one, seven billion parameter. And I think uh, for demo purpose, we will try Olama ROM Gemini 2B model. Okay, so in order to run that, you should need to start your terminal. Let's see, command prompt. The, let's uh, test. Olama, as you can see right now, you after installation, you do have the Olama command. Copy this one into the terminal and press uh, enter. So first round, it will download uh, the model file. We see that uh, it's right now completed. So after the download, it so were able to start uh, the terminal so we can interact uh, with the model. All right, we see that we can send uh, our message. Hello. And we see the speed is quite uh, fast. So I will also open my resource monitoring. So by the way, 
this PC has uh, AMD 4600G as the main CPU and also uh, NVIDIA 3060 as uh, one of the GPU another GPU is uh, the AMD one alright so I think by default uh, Olama will use uh, CPU maybe I'm wrong that uh, needed to be confirmed. Okay, so let's uh, continue. This uh, 10 things that uh, I can do in Beijing, right? Wow, I th we can see that uh, it's really fast. Twenty things can do in Chicago. All right, so. Yeah, I think uh, as you can see, the experience is quite uh, nice. On the terminal, you see there are some hints. So you can type uh, the slash and the question mark. It will show you the all the available commands. So there are many more that uh, you can try. I suggest that uh, you can go to the Get the hub page of Olama. Press here. And now you should be able to see all the documentation here. That you are able also able to do some advanced uh, operation on it, such as uh, customization, such as uh, importing different models. So if you would like to experiment that, there are also many options that you can do. Okay, so if you want to exit, you can type uh, control C or type the slash by. So it will exit the program. Okay. There's one more thing I wanted to emphasize. It is uh, how easy it is to download the different models. All you need to do is to go to the Models tab and you start to experiment with different models. I think uh, very similarly, if you go to the other model, so you can see the documentation is quite nice. Some even have the API. They also have different version. So if you go to the tags, so there are different different uh, versions. There are some instructor model. There are some text model. And uh, on the right side, you can see the command that you need to use. So that's very convenient. You can basically just uh, copy them and paste them into your terminal. Yeah, I think that's really a great thing that uh, Windows uh, is now able to run Olama. So I think uh, the Olama team is doing a fantastic job. I think there's also some visual model. Mm. It's Lava. Yeah, Lava is one of the vision model so basically you can provide uh, some images so the language model is able to understand the image and the interact with you on your question about uh, the images so that uh, should be really really nice yeah i think uh, you definitely should uh, try this one also i hope you enjoy my video
If you would like, please、uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.